Sanity and mental health. The extract of a lecture belonging to the Doctor of Slavic Applied Sciences, Oleg Maltsev. Sanity and mental health. The question examined at a seminar sounds as follows. Sanity and mental health of the person. It would be great to argue on the theme, because personally I do not intend to say something defined at this very moment. I would like to describe only the list of questions we have to consider in any single detail at a seminar in Kyiv. For what reason? Well, I have consulted to my companions and they have told me, if you, Oleg Viktorovich, right now wish to show people the way the standard of mental health looks like, it may hurt them severely. So let's go. Mental health. The first thing that we need to understand is human soul. The first question which will be considered sounds like, what is the soul? So, this very question. According to this very question, there aren't many answers, except those from the Sacred Fathers of Orthodox Church. So, we should address to primary sources. After that, from the point of view of Slavic applied science, it is necessary to give people such explanation that it will become clear for them. I.e., it will be necessary to draw human soul structure in order to know how it looks like. At once, there may appear another question, who or what is a spirit? So the second question is, who, what is a spirit, and I'll write it on a board. It is a very complicated question, and probably at a seminar we will examine it last of all, only after all other experts become clear. We had some more definitions that should be revealed as well. For example, such thing as mentality. Any psychologist, any psychiatrist cannot give the mentality definition. At a seminar, not only should we understand what mentality is, but also to draw it up on a board. Its structure is to become clear to you, so you will be able to use this knowledge furthermore. The following question, number four, what is an intellect or wits? Fifth question, what is a human mind? Sixth question, it should be analyzed before the discussion about mental health. For us, it is necessary to know what human memory is. So you see so many questions necessary to answer. Next moment that should be examined is what is health itself, i.e. If we say that on the standard of spiritual or mental health, the standard of spiritual health will differ from the standard of mental health. Therefore, firstly, it is necessary to understand what the term health naturally represents. When all of us understand all these terms, we will need a special tool. So question number eight, the tool which would allow us to reflect the person in dynamics. This tool should be completely indisputable and able to reflect mental and spiritual human system in dynamics, so that we could see it from a side. Ninth point. Now we need to understand why can a human system fail, i.e. we will name all spare parts of human system which can fail. The following stage. Having discussed all that stuff, we learn the way these spare parts fail. How do they do that? For what reason? So we write the reasons of damages and diseases. Furthermore, having considered all spheres and its types, we already can draw the standard, the special mode, with the help of which one may easily define whether the person is mentally healthy or sick. All in all, in general, we face three main concepts, a damage, a trauma, and a disease. Only three things matter. So, eleventh point, let's figure out what some terms like trauma, damage, and disease mean i.e., these are the different stages representing the fact some spheres of human system fail or even collapse. For example, disease, that is something behind a pain. What is that something? Good question, right? Now it's the turn of a question of the serious plan. Up to now, we are aware of the mental health standard. With its help, we can tell if the person is healthy or not, etc. We dispose of diagnostics tool. We can define the level of any human system damage, I mean the level of human system failure when its pairs are out of operation. But what we are to do then? How should we repair these things? Let's consider the concept of repair. We will talk about repair and how to repair the human system. This is the list of important things it is necessary to discuss during one day of seminar. All those things and questions bulk large and the daily occur in the life of each person. And my speech will consider them all. Inherently, it will be a short course of applied psychiatry, 
It is a linear course, not a volume course, as you may see. At any rate, every person should understand these things properly and profoundly. If someone asks in a facultative order, I will explain what is the consciousness of the person, how it works, for what it is generally necessary, etc. The consciousness is a special spare part of the person, a certain geometrical mechanism of problems decision creating. It's quite clear to what things seminar will be devoted to. Everything's clear. Okay. So, in other words, we will just work out the structure of human system, the way the human system is arranged, and we will understand how it fails, due to which reason it fails, and how to repay it in every single case. And we will consider the psychiatric tools of different level. And I'm not going to promise you that after one day of a seminar, you will learn them all and you will know how to repair human system. You won't learn all that stuff at once. I'm not going to deceive you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. But you will understand the structure of human system theory. You will understand that a certain toolkit is really necessary if you want to repair the injury. Just like one needs a hammer, nails, and so forth to repair his house. And what's more, having faced the necessity of getting some special tools, you can arrive and I will teach you. Some things and terms I will explain at once, the other I will explain gradually. But what is necessary to know and to use are the principles due to which such problems as mental disease are solved. I will explain. But to make them work, one has to apply them practically from time to time. Otherwise, they won't work immediately, just if by magic. And you should be aware of that and give this information to the other people and not to deceive them. So, here are several topics for us to discuss and thus clearing up these 12 points step by step we are going to solve the problem of sanity and mental health. So, this was the extract of a lecture belonging to the Doctor of Slavic Applied Sciences, Oleg Maltsev.